everyone, I'm Hamish Bowden, one of your community developers on Tom Clancy's The Division. Today, you're going to find yourself in New York, where a weaponized virus has been released during the crush of Black Friday sales. But before your journey begins, here are a few tips to help you survive and enjoy this experience. Our game is a cover-based shooter, which means you're an easy target if you stay out in the open. Move from cover to cover by pressing space and protect yourself during combat. Your character can equip up to three weapons, a primary, a secondary, as well as a sidearm. Press one if you want to use your primary weapon, two for your secondary weapon, and three for your handgun. Our game is an RPG, and as such, skills will make all the difference in combat. Your character can equip up to two skills, and you can switch them out whenever you feel like changing playstyle. To equip your skills, open the main menu, go into the abilities section, and press space to assign your skills to Q and E on your keyboard. If you want to surprise your enemy from long range, using grenades is a great idea. Use a grenade by pushing the G key, and once you've set its trajectory, left click to throw it and wait for the blast. If you're running low on health, you can use medkits to get a quick health boost before going back into the fight. To use a medkit, press V on your keyboard. The world map is an augmented reality tool that you can use to explore our open world. You can open it at any time by pressing the M key. Whether it's a main mission, a side mission, or just to explore, you can mark your next waypoint by right-clicking on it with your mouse. This is under siege from whatever criminals have taken over Madison Square Garden. We don't have numbers. Okay, Agent, now you know the basics to stay alive, but remember, if you want to gear up with some of the best loot in the game, you'll want to venture into the dark zone. Be careful out there, and good luck. Bears! 
I'm not sure what you're looking to get out of this. Everything behind this gate is a goddamn war zone. So who's in command here? Captain Benitez was in charge. He was leading up to the post office, but we lost contact when he left base this morning. If he's still ready to sign the fight tomorrow, there's talk of pulling out. No one's pulling out. We're taking this city back. Get whatever gear you need. I'll catch up with you. Good luck out there. Y'all made it. I want to send you.
I'm not who you should be aiming at. Dispatch, this is Division Agent Fei Lau, empowered and authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 51. Whoever you are, we're under an all-out assault. I'm not sure how much help you... Oh, oh, screw it, we'll take anything you can give us. Now, how are you on my comms? 
We've got your back. Just try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. into local GTF radio channels. Unit 43, be advised, you have incoming division agents as backup to your location. About damn time you get us some help. Get him here right now. Officer, we need support on the stairs. Martinez, move up on the flank. Go, go, go.
left side is now under control. My official report. The division saved our sorry asses. Thanks for the report, Bravo Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild our base. Go on in and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, so I'm inbound. Let's do this. Air ventilation and purification systems online. Contamination levels lowered. Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors. There's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area has gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander, Benitez, is out in the field and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing, and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble patching us in. Without him, it's lights out. Isaac can map itself to each of the wings in the base and sync their progress so we can have a bigger picture of what's happening here. And the more stable this base is, the better shape the city will be in. The medical wing is a wreck right now. Once we get that virologist over here, we can build up a staff, investigate the origin of the virus, and start getting more supplies. For civilians, but for us as well. The tech wing has obviously seen better days. But if you can get Rhodes back here, he's apparently got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Former PMC, I think. Knows more than you think he does. I suspect he'll be very useful. The security wing needs some love. And Captain Benitez. The JTF love the guy. He can mobilize them and help us get the intel and firepower we need to get all these hostels off the streets. Well, so Don't you're a division Colonel agent, Bush. That huh? guy knows how to fight when he's Great. Going. Now, uh, don't dwell on all the death and carnage around you or the fact that so many have tried to do what you're about to attempt and failed and died with you. have a little cold. I didn't sleep right, that's all. <coughs> Sorry, sir. I'm gonna need you to come with me. What? Hey! Hey, let go of me! Let him go, Mark! Mark! Hey, He's fine! Let him go! 